I'm not going to be wearing no work outfits. Like, I had so many what I called, like, cute work outfits. But you ain't going to be seeing me in that on a gram. Mm-mm, no, ma'am. I ain't doing that. That ain't how I dress. You see what I mean? Like, that's how I dress in the office. <laughs> but in real life, I mean, you know, I will give him a little bit, you know. What up, it's your girl, Minna. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna have a chit chat, okay? So this is an old school feel good, get ready with me, where I'm gonna be using some new products, some older, already used products in love. And we're gonna talk about losing ourselves. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you do that. Also join my text community. It's free. Anyone can join. I do giveaways randomly. So make sure you are engaging here in the comments. Now with this topic, I mentioned it in a vlog. So if you don't watch my vlogs, make sure you watch them. I post them on Sundays, although every now and again, if something goes wrong, it's going to go up on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? But now, I had talked about as a married woman, married of eight years, and we'll get into all that, right? Well, a little bit. I lost myself and I didn't know that I lost myself until I had lost myself. So let me put on my lip primer and then let's get into the video. All right, so I wanna be very clear that I am blessed to be married, thankful I found my husband. Marriage is very difficult. Neither of us are perfect. It is quite the undertaking to be married, okay? With that said, you're probably like, you're married? I had no idea. Yes, I am. I live my life on the internet now. This is my job. I enjoy doing it. This is my business. I keep my marriage private because you gotta, to me, keep certain things to yourself. I can't have everything on the internet. Dang, what is mine, you see? So there's that. Now, I've been married for eight years now, which, yo, this is the leftover. Look, I keep digging into it. The leftover of cosmetics lip lock on lip primer. I, to say it sounds so strange. This is the iconic London. This is new. Iconic London Radiance Booster. I don't like Radiance, but we doing it. We, we're just trying new things right now, okay? This is the color of Deep Glow. Now, time has gone by so fast. It has been quite a challenge and it also has been quite a blessing. Now, eight years ago when I got married, before, so let's talk about the, before that, right? I was always the one, to, first of all, I didn't start doing makeup until I came to Houston 11 years ago. I started to makeup in second year of grad school. So that was like, what, 12 years ago I started doing makeup. Is this clumping? Look at my finger, we have some clumpage. I don't like all that. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna just even out the cheek and then we're gonna move on. I don't think that it's the product. I think that it's because I have my SPF on. It's the Shiseido SPF. I put the Shiseido SPF on after the Fresh Beauty Deep Hydration moisturizer, which I haven't ever done before. I normally use that moisturizer at night. I haven't ever done that before. And now I see that that's a bad combination. So it's better to use that moisturizer at night. All right, so yeah. So eight years ago, got married, right? And before that, I've, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, my sister and I would always be in the mall. I'm from Rhode Island and listen, there aren't many things to do. One of the things to do is to go to the mall. We stayed in the mall. I'm gonna be using the Derma Blend CC Cream, Continuous Coverage CC Cream cream. I got three colors here. I believe only these two would be an option for me. I'm going to start with the darker one. So this is supposed to tone, give coverage, correction, and oh, it has SPF in it, 50. It has SPF 50 and it. it's a full coverage CC cream. Interesting. Now, one thing to note about CC creams in foundation products, in order to get the actual 50 SPF, SPF 50 on your face, you have to use a lot of this. And if it's full coverage, I'm not going to use that much. So do not rely solely on your foundation to get your SPF coverage. All right, so we always used to go to the mall. And what that means is we always used to shop. And what that meant is I always looked nice. I always liked to look nice. You know, and sometimes it wasn't like the most fancy stuff. You know, we had Jay Silva, Forever 21, Charlotte Ruse, all the extra, right? But the whole point was I enjoyed looking nice, getting new stuff, just like staying abreast. Oh yeah, see, I knew it. It's a good color, deep too. Staying abreast with what was going on and always looking nice, right? So when I moved here to Houston by myself 11 years ago, for work, I did not have my mall buddy anymore, okay? So it's, it really did start from there. I mean, I would shop a little bit, but it wasn't nearly close to what it was when I was at home, right? Because to, for me or for us, it was a very social thing. It's like you go, you're talking, you're there all day or whatever, you're always going, you're, maybe you're returning something, you're getting something else, what have you. So when I came to Houston, I didn't have him want to go with and I it just like, I don't, I just lost interest. I don't know. I mean, I still, when I was single, I was still, you know, staying hot and stuff. But three years after being in Houston is when I met my husband and then we got, is it three? I can't go again. Something like that. Okay. And then 
I got married. Now, like I said, I wasn't really shopping. I mean, I had some cute stuff I was working. So I had work stuff, but as far as anything else, like to go down the street for a second or to go whatever, I didn't have that. And then when I got married, and I don't regret this, I, I didn't have friends. So when I came to Houston, I had friends. The job that I worked at, a lot of us were transplants, not from Houston. So just about every single weekend, girl, we were out in these streets trying to figure out what's Houston about, what's going on, where's it at, what's popping. You know, if it's a day party, a bar, what have you, we were there, you know what I'm saying? So when I got married, all that stuff stopped because it's like, well, I don't need to be out here in these streets like that doing what? You see what I'm saying? My taste, my appetite changed like it should. And for that reason, I didn't feel like I needed to, to shop. It was just like, you know what I got is what I got. You see what I'm saying? And it started to go downhill from there just to me. And it didn't. It's not, it wasn't anything that I noticed right away. It's just like after a while I was like, dang, what happened? Hold on, what is going on here? So married, what have you. I had a baby several years to be married, gained 50 pounds, breastfed for two years, which was a blessing. It was something that I prayed for and I thank the Lord that I was able to do it, like literally up until his second birthday. Even though at toward the end, it was like, <laughs> we were nursing once a day, there was barely anything there, but it was a comfort for him. That's a whole different story, right? Well, then, uh, so with nursing, it helped me lose weight. So like, I was fine, but I've always felt like, oh, I just wanna lose weight. And we talked about that in my vlog too, the whole body dysmorphia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then it was like, okay, I cut my hair, I was feeling real good. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm a mom now. Like, I don't wanna, I, and I gotta lose this weight, which I did. And I'm like, okay, so now what? So I don't remember when exactly it was, but somewhere after that, I started to feel like, so this is what, three years ago? I started to feel like, well, wait, what's going on? So at this point I was at a different job. I mean, I had moved around a few times. I was at a different job and I was just like, and then I started to pursue IG more. And uh, you're seeing different stuff and you're like, that's a cute outfit, that's a cute whatever, that's a cute whatever. And it was like, well, okay, I don't go out, but it doesn't mean that I don't need to look and feel good, right? Obviously I still did my makeup, but the outfits weren't anything that I was too overly concerned about. Again, I wasn't really shopping. If I did, it was every now and then, one or two things. It wasn't anything like staying on trends or anything. It was just like, whatever, okay? So then when I joined my church, I started to make friends of the same mindset and I was like, okay, no, we need to start like really putting some effort into this. Like I just wanted to feel sexy again. Like who wants to feel like a frump? So I was like, okay, I don't, I'm not gonna go to the mall because I don't do that. Like I've been in Houston 11 years. I've been to the Galleria maybe five times. Okay, I don't go to the mall. I don't go to the other like shopping areas. I shop online. It's just a lot easier. So you know the sites like Pretty Little Thing and Fashion Nova and you know these IG type shops that we've all learned from IG, you know, Miss Lola. So I said, you know what? Let me start getting a few of these pieces and stuff. So I started to shop. I remember this was like two years ago. I said, you know what? I want to get some stuff for the winter time and I was doing my my photo shoots that's what also sparked it so here we are we are in 2021 dang I need to actually do my face otherwise we're not gonna <laughs> I haven't even made progress we're still doing foundation what is this this is a problem hold on so photo shoots for my job which is now IG right but back then I was still working full-time going on photo shoots you need to be wearing new stuff hello now in the beginning I wasn't making money doing this Instagram stuff it wasn't yet my business it was just something I was doing and I wanted to get high quality pictures so yeah with the photo shoots obviously after a while with repurposing what I have mixing and matching and what have you you run out of ideas you run out of stuff and so I was like dang okay I need to really be doing some shopping this is Fenty 430 because I need outfits for these photo shoots like come on I mean I was trying to entice fashion sponsorships but not only that diversify the content that I was creating so I've been with my photographer for two years now and I'm like okay I need to do some shopping on my own let's hit up these online IG shops that I keep on seeing that have cute stuff so little by little I was like, let me get that. Let me go ahead and get that. Let me finish my, my concealer and then we'll continue. <laughs> This face is looking real light, but it's gonna come together when I powder, okay? So yeah, the photo shoots gave me incentive to buy some new clothes and to dress up. Now, then I started to be like, you know what? I need to be taken every day at work, seriously enough. I do my makeup, yeah, cause I was multitasking and filming in the morning while doing my makeup for work. So it was just killing two birds with one stone. But I'm like, let me dress up for myself. I started doing that. And if you've been around for a while, you recall me talking about this sometimes in the morning on my IG stories. Just being like, you know what? I'm dressing up for myself every single day. I'm putting on thigh high boots in the winter time. I'm putting 
on my heels. I'm doing whatever. And I worked at a casual place. I mean, one other lady <laughs> dressed up like I did. I mean, it was just insane, insanely casual. So I did stick out because I had a full face beat, hair done all the time, different lipstick on every day, different eyeshadow, all this. But I wasn't doing it for them. I was doing it for me because I started to feel like I had just sunken. Like I just let myself just be instead of continuing to be fly, continuing to look good and to feel good. And then I started my keto journey and I was just like, enough is an entire enough. And if you've been around since then, then you saw my reveal, if you will, when I put up the side by side, which was huge for me because I hadn't ever shown my body on my page like that. And the support was outstanding. I was like shook. Okay. So from then I was like, you know what? I just need to continue to do me whenever, wherever. And little by little, I started getting rid of all of my old stuff. You know how you have stuff that you just have for a while that is just comfortable. It's just whatever. Like I had this one dress. It's my mom's dress. She's 66 years old. Okay. But it's a knockabout dress. You just just wear it at home, nothing big. And I had it and I would throw it on to like go here real fast or be around the house. And just little by little, I was like, nah, man, these kinds of knockabout things need to go. I need to be forced <laughs> to have no choice, but to look nice even at home on weekends. At that time I was still working in the office. And it was strange for me because if you grew up like me, then you know school clothes, house clothes. So for me, it was like, if I'm at home, I don't wanna be wearing anything that's too nice. I don't wanna waste clothes. You know, how you feel like you're wasting your clothes, you're at home, why are you wearing this like maxi dress or whatever, just put on who knows what and just be at home. That was just how I was raised because I was raised poor. So it was like, how am I gonna put on something nice and be sitting at home? But again, my mindset had to change where I had to be like, now is the time to be serious and make sure that I'm looking nice and taking care of myself. Now ain't the time to be out here acting a fool. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not about trying to make sure that your man don't cheat on you. It ain't like that. It's just a matter of me as a woman liking to look nice, liking to dress up, and then all of a sudden just <laughs> letting it fall by the wayside like it ain't a big deal. That's the problem. A lot of times people feel like people are dressing up for other people. Let's say you're going to like, I don't know, something at your girlfriend's house and here you come with high heels and whatever. And then somebody might be like, or the, the person might be like, dang, where you going? I'm coming to your house but I decided to dress up because I felt like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to look good. I know I look good and I'm doing it for me. And I know a lot of times people at my job would be like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going? You're just coming here. Yes, I am. And this is the outfit I chose. You're on notice. You, you can step yourself up or you can just be quiet and understand that this is the bar. I was setting my own bar for myself. It's not for you. Even on dress down days, my makeup was always done. We all know that makeup elevates anything. You can have on a paper bag, honey. And that face laid, it is all the rave. So yeah, I had to decide to do it for me at all times. But then there were times where like on the weekends, I just be like, uh. but it's just a constant reminder that I have to continue to look nice for myself. Obviously, it's a great benefit for my husband if I look nice. <laughs> Hello, but I don't believe in doing things for other people that should easily be done for you. So if it were something where I was like, no, I'm doing it for him, I have to do it. And then it feels like a force as opposed to no. In my own self, I've had a conversation with thine self and decided that I've let something slide and that enough is enough. So with the donation company that I always hire an enlist to come take stuff. In fact, they're gonna come get stuff tomorrow. It's not my stuff this time, it's just general things, but I have them come oftentimes. And I like to try to give things away that I'm not using, gently use things, whatever, to make space for all the stuff that I continue to buy to do my job. So it's exciting to be able to oh, always buy stuff, right? Like who doesn't want to shop for a living? You feel what I'm saying? But it also challenges me to get rid of stuff that's like, mm, this gotta go, this can go, this is gonna stay. And even just continue to evaluate my wardrobe to be like, which items in this wardrobe make me look sexy? You see what I'm saying? Cause it's one thing when you're single and you a hot try. You see what I'm saying? I wanted to say thought, but no, ain't no hoes around here. But you see what I'm saying? Like you're just single and you fly as all can be. And then you go ahead and get married and here you are looking like all you do is cook all day. Like, no ma'am. Mm -mm. 
it's nice to cook, that's great. <laughs> but you also need to give it a little bit of MILF action, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to really wake up. And it's not like anyone said anything. I just, that 50 pound weight gain did something to me. And then losing the weight, like losing a lot of the weight or all of it and some with n nursing and then no longer nursing and then going back up because I wasn't eating healthy. I wasn't doing anything. I was just, I was just living. Okay. So it was like, oh no, 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 no. So I just decided, listen, something's gotta give, something's gotta change. I need to do this. So the workouts, and like I said, the keto started going on and I'm still on that. Like to me, the healthy lifestyle isn't a fad. This is just forever. Anyone trying to have diabetes, anyone trying to be old too soon either. It's like, <laughs> you might be able to guess my age, but you probably won't because <laughs> people get it wrong all the time right like you gotta still be young and hot and sexy so I just had to look at my wardrobe like I said and just get rid of stuff that was like mm, that's too frumpy and let's add some more items that are more like ooh, ow yes hey and I can't lie when I came to know Christ and I gave my life to Christ three years ago dang it it was three years ago I can look at my calendar I now looking back realize that I went through a phase of let me tone this down let me not do too let me not you know and in my journey, I've learned that it really is about the heart. Now, there are levels to it, right? I'm not walking around in a thong in Walmart, right? However, you know, I'm also not gonna wear a paper bag, you see what I'm saying? So I've also grown in that, in knowing who I am in Christ, and then also embracing my hotness and not falling back into frumpy, lumpy, dumpy, who knows what. So it's been quite a journey. It has been quite a journey. And I want you to comment below and let me know if any of this resonates with you. It has been quite a journey. And now, like, again, if you have been following for a while, you may be noticing a difference in what I post. You may not, I don't know. But if you're paying attention, you've noticed. And it's simply because as a human being, I'm growing like you should be. If you're not, there's a problem. I'm growing like I should be. And I'm coming into my womanhood a lot more than before and being comfortable in who I am in Christ and as a woman. So just because I wear a short dress or show a little bit of cleavage, it doesn't mean that I don't have a relationship with God. Now, some people might beg to differ, but the fact of the matter is this. I could be wearing a head to toe covering and only showing the bottom of my eyelids and I can be as evil as any witch you would find in a village in Africa. You see what I'm saying? So my understanding, we're getting into a different topic right now. We are, we are, we are chatting right now, okay? I used to feel like my understanding of Christianity, not like I used to feel, cause I didn't know, I didn't know. My understanding of Christianity was a lot more legalistic. I mean, I grew up in a church, but honey, we talked about this a two in a different video. I grew up in a church, but I was not paying attention. I was just there. You see what I'm saying? I was forced to go, I was just there. Just, well, it was what it was. So on my journey, I've realized that it's a a personal relationship and whether or not I have on skinny jeans, a full face of makeup, which is a whole different topic because some will say that this makeup is too much to be in the Lord. And it's like, yo, you can get up and put Vaseline on your face every day and you can be more of a witch than me. And I'm not a witch, by the way, I'm just saying. But I, yeah, I used to feel I, my understanding of things, I, I realized recently was very legalistic and I had to realize, you know what? I can still be young, hot, sexy, and still worship the Lord. Obviously I'm not gonna be on the platform with a thong on, you see, but I'm just saying in the job that I do, I can still be young, hot, and sexy and give God the glory, all of it, cause all of it is his. And I can still do me. It's about the heart. God is after our heart. Yeah, for some people, he might say, you know, he might speak and, and reveal to you that you need to change your outfit, change the way you, you dress, you know? Because probably the reason why you're dressing that way, which used to be me back when I was single, probably the reason why you're dressing that way is to entice men. So if God reveals to you that uh, you need to stop dressing that way, then probably that's why. But I know as a mar married woman, who is very content and ain't looking for nothing out there in them streets. If I wear something sexy, it's for me and it's for my man. So I, I it, it just took a while to come to all of this understanding again about my womanhood, about who I am in Christ and also as an influencer. It's like, it's been quite a journey. So with all of that, I, I have learned that man, stepping into fashion, cause you know, as a beauty influencer, which is what I started off doing and I obviously still am, but I'm now into lifestyle. As a beauty influencer, it was was just videos and pictures. So you weren't seeing my body. You weren't seeing what I had on. Many of us, that was what we were doing. 
<laughs> but then over the past two years or so, or I mean, for me, I started venturing out into fashion because I liked it. It was just, it, it seemed so fun. I, I knew that I liked to dress and I wanted, I wanted to do it. Like who cares? I wanted to do it, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm just really glad that I had that wake up call. It, again, it wasn't like anyone called me and said, yo, you look real scraggly. What's going on with you? No one, right? It's just, ugh, I just started to feel like, ugh, who am I? And what happened to her? So now even it's so funny, even now my husband be like, oh, he be like, oh, where are you going with that? And I'm like, well, I go on photo shoots, maybe an occasional lunch with a girlfriend, date night, I'm at home, right? So it's not like I'm going places, but if he sees something, he'll be like, oh, because he knew it wasn't, it was, girl, it was dry. It was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was work clothes and then it was weekend. And that is also something to note as well. The change also is because of what I do now. I've been an entrepreneur for like a serious LLC, LLC entrepreneur for over a year now. Now, when I was working in the office, I was getting dressed for the office. So the outfit that I was wearing was, you know, homely, kind of hot, but like, home, you know, office appropriate, you know what I'm saying? But it was still like, it was given, but it was still like office, but it was still like, dang, what she got on? You know, it was like, dang, where is she going? Just to work and then to home, that's it. Be in traffic for an hour and go home. It's just, the, you know, the simple things, but it was still giving, you understand what I'm saying? So now that I do this full time, I don't have to wear work appropriate stuff. So now you see the two pieces, the shorts, the, the this, the that, because my work is different now. So I have to always remind myself that that is part of the huge difference that has influenced how I'm dressing too, in addition to the epiphany that I'm telling you about, because this is what I do. I'm not gonna be wearing no work outfits. Like I had so many, what I called like cute work outfits, that you ain't gonna be seeing me in that on a gram. Mm -mm, no ma'am, I ain't doing that. That ain't how I dress. You see what I mean? Like that's how I dress in the office. <laughs> but in real life, I mean, you know, I would give them a little bit, you know, like I was stylish. They knew that, you see? Like I said, it was a very casual place, but when the face be, you know, seeing a cut crease, red eyeshadow, whatever my heart desired that morning, we were giving it. But anyway, it's obviously a different type of fashion when dressing for the internet. At least for me, you know. That also was like, okay, we need to change some of this stuff out. I gave away so stuff and I still even just recently like still was like oh I used to love these coach loafers these were so cute for the office but I'm not going back there anymore you know God has blessed me with my own business so I don't need all this work casual stuff it has challenged me to really just step it up a little bit a little bit of a notch and sometimes it does feel like there's a little bit of pressure because of what I do and doing the photo shoots and being online and being so front facing, right? Like I gained 50 pounds while pregnant when I was off the internet. So I can't even lie to you and tell you that I don't think about that now. Like, dang, if I were to gain 50 pounds again, <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna look like. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was able to gain that and nobody knew who in tarnation I was, you know? So it's a little bit concerning. <laughs> Let me put on my Rare Beauty Illuminizer. We chatting today. It's a long video. Mm -hmm. I hope that you got your got your coffee, got your bottle, your glass of wine. I hope you got something with you, baby girl. All right, this is the new Pixie on the Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick. I don't know how this is gonna look on my skin that already has makeup on it. I suppose I'm supposed to just put it on the face, although I am a little bit concerned doing this, wondering if it's going to take off the makeup. Do you see that? A little, okay. I don't be doing blush underneath because yeah, you can see, you can see here. This is what it looks like after rubbing it several times. Very dewy. I think this would be great if you don't wear a lot of makeup or if you, I don't know, what is a lot of makeup? Like a lot of steps. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of steps. This is looking real wet and stuff. <laughs> Which, if this is what you like, this would be perfect. Let me even out both sides, and then I'm gonna put an, a reddish orange type blush on top of this. This is nice, but I feel like it needs to be wiped on and then blotted out. I don't like it on top of makeup. I am not liking it on top of makeup. No, ma'am, not for me. All right, this blush that I'm gonna put on is 20. Look at that, 20 orange. <laughs> they already got the accent. They already got the accent for me. No need for me to even do anything. 20 orange, Frankie Rose Cosmetics. How you doing? 
Let's see what she's talking about. All right, on top of this, and this is wet, so this should really grab right to this product. I'm trying to get all over where that product is because it's like it's wet. It's how do you say it? It's creamy, creamy. So I want basically what I'm doing is mattifying the creaminess of that stick powder of that stick blush with this, if you will. But this has color. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to get all on top of it this is good let me not over zoo because i think i'm doing a green eyeshadow and <laughs> i'm just not gonna go too well with that let's see <laughs> let's find out this looks pretty i'm gonna use this again by itself but i am liking how this looks i may have od'd the blush we'll see when the look comes together usually we need the whole entire look to really see what's going on you know i need to fix my creases in my eye shadow base because all the blinking as you can see this creased. So make sure you blend this out. Otherwise you're going to have creases in your eyeshadow before you even finish your look. The eyeshadow that I want to use is this Juvia's Place The Rebel Army Eyeshadow Palette. Now I am concerned about this color down here because it's a cool almost gray color with a little bit of green and I Maybe I should use this. It looks black and that's what, I don't want this to look nice. Let me pick something else. All right, so I had taken out brown. That was a bad idea. I'm using this light purple, the mauve type of color right here in this Maven Beauty palette. Any light purple would work. The light color of purple that I chose with this green creates dark purple. So that is how we are doing the gradient effect with the eye. So I need to put some more of the purple on this side to make it match. All right, so the face is done. Now I'm gonna use the Lip Bar Savage on the outer part of my lip and then this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink color in the color Inspirer. This by itself just ain't gonna work. So we'll see how they look together. All right, all right, all right. If you know me, you know I love a good pink, baby. I love a good pink. All right, there we are. We have finished the look. I want you to comment and let me know if you like this look and what part about it you do like. My chest and my shoulders and my arms are really, really dark because in Mexico, we were out by the pool the whole time, okay? I don't feel comfortable matching my chest, so this is just going to be what it's going to be, okay? The console are going to match the chest and it's going to be what it's going to be, okay? <sighs> Hopefully I've inspired you if you are married, if you are single, if you are a woman and you just need a reminder to dress for yourself, to do you for yourself, whatever that is, presenting your best self forward wherever you go in whatever you do. It has become so important to me. So as always, make sure you comment below and let me know if any of this resonated with you and what your thoughts are on being a woman and just losing yourself or not losing yourself or maintaining yourself and those kind of things. Comment and let me know. You never know, I might randomly tap you on your shoulder and you might win a giveaway, okay? As always, I'm glad you're here and thanks for watching my video. Bye.